All right, guys, Carlo here. Um, due to the time crunch, I'm shooting this intro in my car, literally, uh, in Toronto. I'm sick, but it's winter time in Toronto, so I'm pretty sure everyone is sick, but it's not gonna stop me from releasing this episode because it was so dope. I got to sit down with uh, a fellow sneakerhead and serial entrepreneur. Once you see the video, you'll understand why. We call him a serial entrepreneur. Uh, not only did Kamaz and me totally kick it on the fact that we both love sneakers and streetwear, but to me, Kamaz's story is pretty much what, what makes Toronto as a city so dope. He wasn't born in Toronto, not even born in Canada. We talked about his whole journey literally around the world and how he ended up in Toronto and how he created, ended up creating one of the biggest or the biggest sneaker subscription services in the world. You can check that out at sneakertub.com and then he kicks it up a notch with uh, kickgrid.com where he, not only does he provide you with sneakers, but then he kicks it up a notch with some some outfits. Like, um, that's pretty sick if you ask me. Uh, he literally created a, a business out of his hobby. And after all the success online, he opened up a real physical store in the heart of the Junction Triangle in Toronto. Address of the shop is 1643 DuPont Street. Check them out when you get a moment. And also peep his Instagram. That's milk underscore Toronto on IG. He's always producing dope content. Check him out and enjoy the show. Peace. I'm sitting here in this weird ass, but dope. I mean, weird in a, in a, in a cool way with Kamaj in the store called Milk. I totally thought it was a dairy store. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, everyone does, right? especially because you can see all the cereal yeah. and like paraphernalia and stuff. But then I walked in here and I was like, holy shit, this is actually a dream setup. Streetwear, sneakers. This is pretty much what my closet looks like, just not this big. And uh, but yeah, so I'm here with Kamaj. Um, we're just here to learn more about what you do, how you did it, and let's start from the beginning, man. Where are you yeah. from? Uh, so I'm originally from Sri Lanka. Um, okay. Grew up there till I was in my like late I'd say early 20s um, okay. migrated to not technically migrated like um, went to the UK for to do my undergrads okay uh, finished it went back yeah. to Sri Lanka for like an, another couple of years and yeah Sweet. then I came here I moved here in 2011 I think yeah oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're I'm, still kind of yeah, yeah I'm kinda still kind of new right? <laughs> but the last seven years in the city has been fucking bananas yeah. I feel like the last seven years is more growth than the last 20 yeah like so, especially man like even in this area like we're at yeah. like Dundas and DuPont the junction area like yeah it, people have been telling me like this place was like crackheads and like hookers yeah. before now just it's like, like Liberty Village yeah. was man like back in the day Liberty Village was uh, a prison yeah so but yeah I was surprised man so I'm happy that we stumbled upon each other another another podcast guest told me about you he I swear he said it was a dairy shop too and then one guy said no, man, they sell sneakers. And yeah. I was like, what? And then I was like, we got to go over there. So we walked over and that's when I first met you. So Yeah, like when we first opened the store, when I decided to open the store, when I actually signed the lease, we didn't have a concept for the store. Yeah. Um, How long ago was that? I was, we opened in July of this okay, year. So we're new. like pretty brand new. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we signed the uh, lease in June, I think, of this year and didn't yeah. have a concept. But, um, but you, how it, yeah, how it all started was like, I was thinking of concepts. First, I wanted to call it brick and mortar because, you know, yeah, brick, brick and, and mortar. mortar. Yeah. Um, and then, like, my wife one day was like, oh, we're out of milk. Like, can you go pick up some milk at the store? So I go to the milk store or Walmart or whatever. Yeah, it yeah. Is, blah, blah. Um, and I look at the back wall where, like, all the all the fridges are with, like, yeah. the milk, milk labels. I'm like, whoa, this could be, like, a dope backdrop for, like, something. I didn't yes. even think of a store then, right? Um, and then, um, then I'm like, oh, like maybe I, I'll call the store milk. So yeah. everything else, like kind of just like that. Right? After that. You yeah. weren't high or anything? No, no I, I, just I don't kidding. smoke, bro. I just, okay, alcohol is my poison. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. In in proper quantities. Like. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're not sloppy or anything like that. Mm -mm. But that's that's such a dope story, man. And so before the store, you yeah. were already selling sneakers already. I'm yes. assuming. and streetwear because it's not just sneakers in here, but. Sneakers are the staple of streetwear. Yeah, so I started uh, this thing called Sneaker Tub, which was, well, which was, yeah. is uh, the first sneaker subscription service in the world. So cool. no one was doing the loot crate for sneakerheads, yeah. right? Um, so it's sneaker a mystery, tub. yeah, it's a mystery sneaker subscription service where you get like a mystery pair of kicks and other accessories mm. curated for you every month, like Sick. delivered to your door. So started that in 20. 
2016, I'd say, or 2015, late, okay. late 2015, when I got laid off from my job. Um, yeah. Didn't know what I wanted to do. I went for a couple of interviews with people and I had to like convince them to like kind of hire me. But like, I yeah. kind of felt like the person who's interviewing me was like, less qualified than Absolutely. i was i'm like what the fuck am i doing like trying to tell yeah. these people like oh like i'm good for you like hire yeah. me trying to sell yourself yeah and, I, and i'm like that's fine that's like let me kind of like try yeah. to figure out do my own thing um yeah so like got laid off i worked for that company for five years um i was in film before yeah um, film oh, i was marketing. gonna say where were you what were you doing before uh, i was a marketing manager for this company called e1 entertainment one so they oh, do okay. um they do uh, major theatrical distributions they've done movies like the twilight franchise if you oh, can remember shit. back in the day taylor uh, taylor what's his name uh, i don't know the taylor yeah. and taylors they were dating yeah, yeah. Right? that's all i remember <laughs> i was like that's weird <laughs> yeah so yeah i worked for their for, for that company for five years um got suddenly laid off like yeah. 40 50 people on my team um, so that when you came to canada we're, and we're all over the place but it's all yeah, good, yeah. Like, well, you came from to, came to canada from london england i uh, know i came from sri lanka so i was in london for two years went back to sri lanka for a year to okay. try and figure out what I kind of wanted to do after I graduated. Yeah. Couldn't find... What did you go to school for? Uh, I went to school for software engineering, if oh, you don't. <laughs> I don't Lines know. up perfectly. Bro, like, I don't know <laughs> shit about software. Because it's like, when you're Asian kid, like, growing up, like, in Sri Lanka, like, you only have a few avenues that you can go into, right? Oh, you can yeah. either be, like, a doctor, you can be, like, a lawyer, like, an engineer. Yeah. Or, like, it's IT. Otherwise, or, like, your software, parents right? think you're a failure. Exactly. <laughs> right? So So, I did, like what i thought was the coolest or what i thought was something yeah. that i'd like but i hated it like four years of school was like torture bro like yeah. the only thing that kind of kept me going was like the design aspect of like cool yeah you um, liked you because you had an eye for it yeah so notes. like graphics like editing shit like it's all like like self-taught like everything yeah. like back here like the store design everything like i it's your i own, did like, it like yeah. Uh, with with my partner, like I have a partner, Jason Bitten. He's cool. um, he's he's a good friend, like who worked with me before. We yeah. kind of both got laid off at the same time, but um, he came into the business two years after um, Sneaker yeah. Time. So when I was opening milk, I'm like, dude, like, do you want to go into business together, kind of yeah. thing? Um, do you want to buy six hundred bucks worth of cereal? Together? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we spent like and not six, eat it, <laughs> not eat it. Uh, yeah, so like from Sri Lanka to England, from England to Sri Lanka and back to here. Um, yeah, so I worked for, I think I, when I first graduated, I, I came here to do like my post-grad studies in film, so yeah. uh, software and engineering to film is like, I don't know. I it's, bet, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, like I graduated here, like worked for this company, interned for them for a year for free nice. without a cent. I, I, I believe you know, in that stuff, man. Yeah, That's how it, you learn. Yeah, it's add up. It, it, the shit adds up, right? And, um, and It's so hard, but... It is, it is. But if you like grind through it, it's yeah. like, you know, you'll see the light at the end Absolutely. of the Absolutely. You just learn <laughs> shit that you won't actually learn in school. Yeah. You know, so... I'm a big, I, I started speaking at schools recently and I, right. I have zero formal education, so it's weird. Right. But um, I'm always fascinated when people go from a job to like, well, let's start some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how was that transition? Like you got laid off, you're then like trying to sell yourself to somebody you feel like, yeah. you know, fuck this guy. Yeah. Right? And you don't even, know, was, about, you don't even was, know about the next drop next no, week. No, exactly. <laughs> like... Honestly, like the hardest thing is because you don't know like where your next paycheck's coming from. Yeah. Like, like still, you don't know where. Like I don't you know don't. where. Well, yeah. I pay myself, but yeah. You, but it's true. It's like, true. Like yeah, this shit could all fall down tomorrow, right? Yeah. Like That's the that's the kind of risks that you take, like as an entrepreneur and yeah. like trying to do. But it's like also it's like oh like I work hard. I work like someone's like trying to take it from me every day. So that's, that's key, man. That's exactly how you have to do it, I guess. Like I never like rest, and I'm like oh like I kind of like made it. Yeah. That's whatever. that's the thing that love not even. Love like yeah. even close to like making it but it's like you, like in the space that we are kind of in like sneaker tab the subscription space it's we fast. were the kind of first to do it yeah um that's so, dope man i love the i want to learn more about it like how do you well one you just sign up online mm -hmm. and what do you do like you then you, so you, you curate the stuff so i curate the stuff with like just by myself like you kind of like when a subscriber is with you for like a couple of months you kind of like get the pattern like uh, get what they kind of like yeah so it's the, oh the, shit so everyone gets something different oh yeah everyone you're not even sending no. the same stuff like maybe like maybe like the basic nope. packages you kind of get like the shoe of the month kind of thing but yeah. like the the higher the tiers go like you're oh. like it's all customized um that's sick 
So you learn your you learn you yeah. learn your subscriber styles. Like so I should just stay away from the site because I'm a recovering. Oh yeah, man, you should. <laughs> yeah, if, like, you shouldn't I, even go on you it. You know how many pairs of shoes I have that I've never even worn or tried on, and I'm sure you're in the same boat yeah, before you open like, the shop. It's like people don't get it. People don't understand two things. One, yeah. what you're talking about, how when you own your own store right. or you're running your own business. It never stops. Mm-hmm. Even when you're at home, you're laying in bed, something fucking comes to your head. You're like, oh shit, yeah. I gotta do this. Yeah. Do I do it right now or do I do it later? Blah, right. blah, blah. Like, and you do a little bit and you're like, shit, I'll do the rest later. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I smoke weed. Because I, <laughs> I need to stop. You need to chill. Yeah, I need to like, I, it just doesn't stop, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, but that and the sneaker head type mentality right. of like, it's, it's, one, it sometimes it's just really nice to look at, right? I, it's uh, I consider them as like art pieces. Yeah, they are. So it's and I'm sure you know when you were growing up, the sneaker culture now is crazier. I I didn't have sneakers growing up, bro. Yeah, I, I I wore like local brands, like maybe like what's a local brand? Sri Lankan local brand? Um, I think it was like a brand called Power. I think maybe it was from India. Okay, they were like basketball shoes, but like really Power. uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable? Really, really uncomfortable. Like <laughs> they were pretty much they look pretty much like Ewings. Like if you look at look at the Ewings. Yeah. Like pretty like much ones? like that, but like a way less cooler. Okay. Um, these are I had a pair of these. These are pretty uncomfortable. Like not uncomfortable, but they they're uh un- you can't play ball in these. Not no, nowadays. Not nowadays. Like if you compare it to they'll like break. an actual like a basketball shoe, like no. Yeah, they'll break. I had a pair of these. I bought them on eBay with you know selling my, my eBay hustle. <laughs> And then I tried to play ball in them. Yeah. And uh, they're a great looking shoe, though. It, it, yeah, yeah. It uh, and then they they broke. <laughs> like they, this crack. This seems better than quality than than what I have. But everything started cracking. Right. Because uh, these are like the newer like versions of it. They like yeah re, better quality um, and stuff. Yeah, they rebought the license or they reactivated the license, so they're like making it in uh, like who, better better. Who factors. makes these? Um, Ewing is its, its own, own brand, oh, so it's like Patrick Ewing's shoe. Oh shit! Um, so I think Patrick Ewing was signed to Adidas like back in the day when okay. he was in the league in the yeah, yeah, NBA. Yeah, he was killing him. But he was John like, Sarks. "Oh fuck, fuck Adidas! Like I'm making my own shoe yeah. kind of thing." So, the, so it's a original. good like entrepreneur story, yeah. right? But the, he's not involved with, in Ewing anymore. I don't think so because he uh, he coaches the Jordan yeah. school, so he can't even wear his oh. own. Shoe. <laughs> That's so awkward yeah. logistically. Yeah, so, uh, this guy from the US, like he, um, I think, reactivated the license. Uh, okay, so he owns a new it. agreement, so that he puts them. Probably not even ballers buying him. They're just. Real, like, no, they're, they're like Ewing heads are like old school guys who yeah. used to like wear Ewing I would still back rock the these, man. Yeah, but and that with the whole '90s come up again, like the great looking shoes. Yeah, right? tell me your thoughts well, on you're, that. You're I know, right? Fila, right? I'm definitely like like five yeah. years ago, you you no. wouldn't be there, like hot <laughs> seeing Fila, right? It's true. Like it, it's weird. Like all the stuff we probably grew up similar, right? Where like if my parents would kill me. Right. They find out how much my stuff costs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're fucking lose their mind. Yeah. And um, so all the stuff now when I was a kid is now popular and I can afford it all. So yeah. it's weird, yeah. right? Um, and I don't know if you're in the same boat. Like you think of it, you're like looking at it like, man, my parents would never buy me this right. stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I just buy it. Like my things, man, I buy what I like. So yeah. if I like Fila, like if I like Fila like two years ago, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of Fila. Like, yeah. And I don't wear it because it's cool again, right? Yeah. Like, Champion, I think it's like fucking champion shirts like five years ago. No one would want I them. Know. You'd find them at like a fucking garage sale. Yeah, whatever, yeah, right? totally. And now a champion's bucks. like cool again. And I don't like champions, so I don't wear it. Yeah. Um, Yeezys is a whole other story. I like Yeezys when they first came out. Yeah. But I couldn't get my hands on them because yeah. the hype was like so huge. Right? I know. Like now I can buy them at retail, now so I buy them. <laughs> yeah, now he's uh, flooded the market. Yeah, like I, I wear all types of shit, man. I wear like yeah. Puma, Saucony, like New Balance. Yeah, yeah see, I've like, always been into that anything, stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. But there, I, I can relate to like some brands I just never wore when I was right. a kid. Well, I never liked them, and mm. now that they're in style, I'm like, I'm still not rocking that. It feels awkward. It feels awkward exactly. to me. Like, just because it's trending, I'm, I'm still not going to rock yeah. it. But, um, yeah, so tell me a little bit more about the subscription. What's the website? Uh, Sneakertub.com for global. So our main distribution hub is in the U.S., so we ship a lot of stuff to the U.S. Oh, shit. Um, Good. That dollar money, like, pays yeah, well. Yeah, right? that's sick. <laughs> that conversion rate's great. Yeah. Uh, and Canada, we started last year in Canada. Okay. Um, so it's still growing. Yeah. Uh, I'd say about 90% of the shipments go to the U.S. Sick. Um, how did you start? Like, how did you get the, uh, the we talked about the idea. Let, let's talk about the idea. 
Yeah, so I I was a sneakerhead. I always liked sneakers, and yeah. I was a huge like I'm a, I'm a huge nerd. So I liked stuff like Nerd Block, Loot Crate, those subscription yeah. boxes. You know software stuff too, so yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know any software <laughs> stuff, but um, yeah, man. So I kind of wanted to marry the two ideas together, being like, oh, like this is the this is the sneakerheads loot crate or lo- the loot yeah. crate for sneakerheads right so originally before i wasn't sure if it's like a viable idea or if yeah. it will ever work out so i just didn't sit in my basement like thinking about it i just made up a website and i put it out and yeah. that's how it happened like so entrepreneurs who are like you know yeah. these days who think of ideas who has a lot of ideas but who doesn't want to take the next step and kind of yeah. do it like my advice to them is like just fucking do it and like yeah. figure it out later right that's that dude I that's, can that's my every- philosophy i say yes <laughs> to everything i figure shit out yeah <laughs> that's the key a lot yeah. of times like even even with this podcast i was like i don't know what we're gonna do i just want to talk to people see where it goes right right and all of a sudden now thousands of dollars worth of equipment and all this shit and this equipment doesn't work so well. Yeah. Everyone's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. We'll see where it goes, <laughs> right? So, but it, it fires me up. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the key. Like, and I haven't felt that way in a long time. That's good, man. Um, about, about a business. So, yeah. yeah, so you got the idea. So you got sneakertub.com. Ah, uh, yeah, sneakertub.com. Sneakertub. And then what did you do to get people to on it? So basically I... Here's one thing that right. I, I'm going to interrupt a little bit because I was yeah. just, I spoke at a university lab mm-hmm. yesterday and... People have this notion, and back in the day it could work, right. where you open up a website and people would show up. But that's not the case no, no. more. It hasn't been the case for a while. No. Um, so what did you do to get people to visit your store? I hit up a lot of sneaker influencers in this nice. space. So like yeah. YouTubers who does unboxings. So two years ago, it was a whole different story. They weren't being sponsored by Adidas or Jordan yeah, yeah, back I'm in watching. the day. It's tough now to do yeah. it, right? Like, But I contacted even YouTubers who had like, 10,000 subscribers, like right? Not the ones with like 10 million no, and shit. No, like you, you work with the little guys and as they grow, yes. you grow with them, right? And they remember you from day one. Exactly, so I don't have a problem having to pay them now, Yeah. right? But I kind of want to pay them for the next campaign because they've been fucking with us for free for like a <laughs> long time. So like, yeah, yeah next one they'll get kind of paid. Nice. Uh, but yeah, like that's, that's basically how I grow it. Sick, yeah. that's awesome, man. It's so funny that Like what you're saying right now, I literally was telling uh, these students yesterday with the ideas and I was like, guys, stop trying to get the people with a million, two million, three million, because there's so many people with 10,000, 20,000 and those people, their their influence on their group is massive because it's such a tight knit community. So that's sweet. So then you got these influencers visit your site and then yeah. people just started subscribing yeah so i started sending them free shit they unboxed on their channels and yeah. people just started coming man and and that's how i've been actually growing it like for the last two years it's like all that's influencers sick. it's all word of mouth like we do a bit of digital uh, ads but yeah. not a ton yeah like we don't spend as much money as we should on them so like that's probably the, the, the growth phase. in the next next two to three years that's, that's awesome um, man put a bit of our dollars into it and like blow this shit up i love it um, but yeah man it's, it's it's just like people think it, like everything happens overnight like it's yeah. a long game like you're Good, man. fucking like, in this for the long, long i game, love right? what you're saying man it's exactly how what i tell these students or anyone even old people that want to start a business but right. i feel like the generation the younger generation is so like in a hurry it's like guys like you don't understand like it's yeah, like it's remember like dial up internet oh, of course right man. yeah so people kind of they're not like kids these days yeah. they're not used to it anymore they have everything at their fingertips right yeah and we, we all get mad like, when our internet's like five seconds slow yeah, remember napster <laughs> when you had to download a song for like two hours like, yeah like you leave it overnight right and then, and then it fucks up you're like fuck i was gonna exactly. lose that so like i think like with like technology being what it is today like kids have access to stuff like fast right yeah that's not how life works yeah i like that man that's huge so you're now here do you have you have family here or is it just you and your wife uh my wife me my baby we just nice. had a baby six months Congrats, ago so man. thanks buddy holy uh, smokes it's new new location new baby around the same time so when I was here when my wife went into labor. Holy cow. <laughs> like contractors were working on it. I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't take her to the hospital. Her uncle did. Holy shit. <laughs> that's entrepreneurial life for you, man. Yeah, man. That's uh, so crazy. So yeah. So, and I, I have family here. Like my, um, like my mom's sisters are here. We have, we have yeah. a tight knit Sri Lankan community yeah, here. I, I know like I'm Filipino. So like I know our cultures are yeah. not the same, but they're very much the same. Right. We're like, 
our families are families, yeah. like no matter what, you yeah. know. So I can totally relate to that. One of my uncles is actually from Sri Lanka. Oh, nice. So my aunt married a Sri Lankan man or whatever you want to call it. And hey, man. Yeah, it's We're like, related, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you at the family, the right. family party, right? And uh, he's been bugging me actually to go to, because I surf and I'm obsessed with surfing. Right. And he's been bugging me to go to Sri Lanka because it's should, like man. sweet it's surf. Beautiful. I don't like, surf, but like I know people chill. who surf. Yeah. Like, amazing. So when, how, when was the last time you went back? I try to go every year. Nice. Uh, so I went last January. I'm going again next year in January. Yeah. Um, I do a bit of work there. I'm trying to do something in Sri Lanka, like start a business there. But it's it's yeah. the situation right now is a little oh. shaky there p- politically. Always um, right. Even it, like yeah. my country, they're they're killing everybody, right? Yeah. Like, it's the, it's the politicians, man. They just yeah. steal people's money and you know they, yeah, <laughs> they that, do whatever they like with it. Yeah. And there's no hiding it. They're no. just like whatever. Come get us. Yeah. Like politics is like we can talk about hours about politics. Yeah. I don't know anything it's about politics. The same shit everywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. So. What's your favorite sneaker? This is a random question. It's a very tough question, man. It's um, yeah, because uh, I. What are you kinda, rocking nowadays? Like, what's your go-to pair right now? Right now, it's comfort over everything. Okay. So it's Ultra Boost and like Yeezys, yeah. like 350 Boost for right now. Like yeah. that's been in my rotation. Um, but I'd say like all-time favorite would have to be like a Jordan One. Cool. Uh, like the bread ones. Yeah, um, yeah. Would be like my. Like, See, I've ultimate. never been a bread one fan. Really? Yeah. No. Until like. Until as of late, it's just weird. Right. Maybe it's the off-white influence, right? From like <laughs> those are fly, but I've never really been like, yo, I want yeah, uh, like Jordan ones. Right. I've never, I, I don't know what it is about Jordans. I don't, I have pairs, right, and call it insecurities of like those those are the shoes I've never fucking worn, man. Really? Because I wanted them when I was a kid. My parents yeah. wouldn't buy them for me. Now I buy them, and I'm like. Fuck am I doing with this shit? <laughs> no, but it's like for me, it's comfort over everything, man. Yeah, I like and like Ultra Boosts are like great. Yeah, love the shoe. Like, love how I feel in them. Yeah, um, even like the Yeezys, like the three fifties are like great. Like I have the seven hundreds, but yeah. uh, I have like I didn't, I don't have this one. I have the last drop, like yeah, the, the, the more ones. Yeah, yeah. I have, I people have too. people didn't like them. Like they were sitting oh, there. I think I they're still, still like sitting. They are. I think they're just done. They yeah. this, Adidas just stopped selling them. Oh really? I think so. Oh, okay, cool. Because I saw them at like Sold Stop or something. Oh, okay, like, yeah. Online. So like yeah, yeah, yeah. on like those. They're like ten percent off. Shut up. Fuck, I paid like, yeah. <laughs> I paid retail for them. Yeah, so did I. So, <laughs> like, I haven't even opened the goddamn box. And you haven't? No. And you got them too yeah. and, you, and you're recovering? Yeah, I told you, like, I, I, as long as I don't buy anything resale, I don't feel that bad. Yeah, that's good. You know, like, I've never bought anything resale. Me like, neither. Never. Um, so, that, that's, that's pretty dope. And so, when you, what was the, like, what's a shoe that you have right now that's like, yo, I can't even believe I have these? Nothing. Nothing. No, I don't have any gems in my collection because okay. I don't overpay for sneakers. Yeah. Like, coming from me, it's like a little weird because you're no, no. like a you're a business guy, man. No, yeah. man, it's it's like I know how much it costs to make those, so I'm yeah. like I'm not selling those crazy. I'm not paying those crazy resale prices, but yeah. I I do want the pigeon dunks, like okay. um, the Jeff Staple pigeon dunks. That's like yeah. that would be my ultimate like sneaker grail. Wow. Um, and if I, I don't even know what those are. <laughs> you don't know what they are? I they they cost on. like the first sneaker like lineups and pandemonium and this first sneaker oh, riot in like shit. I think New York. I probably, I, they once I see that maybe I'll know them. them. They're like a, a gray and a pink kind of yeah. um, Jeff Staples like signature colors. Okay. Uh, with like a pigeon. Like Oh shit. I know exactly uh, what you're talking about now. Yeah. I didn't know that's what they were called. Pigeon dunks. Yeah, they call it pigeon dunks. So the, those were, would be like my ultimate sneaker grail. So I would pay top dollar for those if I yeah. can have them. What do you think... What do you think caused all this craziness with sneakers? I'm a little biased, but right? I'll tell you my answer after. Right, I, I just think it's, for me, I think like, especially kids, right? You yeah. wanna have something that other people kind of don't have. Yeah. Um, so if, when you see your friends like rocking the off right, you kind of want them, but like the other kids can't have them. Yeah. And like, it, just, it gets like into like a snowball yeah, like, effect and then like, you know, like the hype builds yeah. up. Like Supreme, right? Like Supreme was, a skate store like back in the day no one really cared Dude, about, right? I used to go there and, and not have to line up or anything. Like old so. school skaters like laugh at how much they yeah. pay for Supreme. Yeah, it's true because like I was telling you before we started, I used to go to New York all the time with my family. So I right. used to go to the Supreme store and like buy a t-shirt for 20 bucks and that was right. it. And like, or buy a hat or whatever. And and I didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. So I would have to like do some favors for my aunt, do some chores at my aunt's house, <laughs> get some money and be like, yeah, yeah. let's go to the Supreme store. Yeah. Or like, the Eddie Bauer store and stuff, and all, right. all these Eddie brands Bauer. are coming back. Man. <laughs> yeah. like, 
But Champion is another story. I hope like, Eddie Bauer never comes back. <laughs> is, I, are they still back? I, I, I don't know if they're if like... I've yeah. seen stores in like the US. Though. That's funny. Yeah, I hope yeah. Eddie Bauer never like comes back. Like in like a lot of tourist areas, they have yeah. stores. Yeah, it's interesting. But so what I think, I just think it's hip hop, man. It's Could weird. Be. Like hip hop to me is like... You grew up listening to hip hop, I'm assuming? Because this is like hand in hand, right? Street like I, I was like a pretty... Like when I... Like, first got into hip, hip hop like obviously like Dre, Snoop, yeah, or yeah. NWA. That was I had to like hide that shit when I was yeah. listening to my parents, like, yeah. like for my parents. And then I went into this like grunge Nirvana like rock phase. Okay. Like then went into like like because I listened to like kind of everything. Like yeah. I made like uh, Sabbaths like one of my favorite brand, uh, bands. And then yeah. like I also listened to like the Migos. So like I'm like yeah. a mixed bag, right? I, I can I can relate to that. Uh, yeah, hip hop I think was like a big influence. Like yeah. And then, like, Kanye destroying the game, really. I feel Kanye, like. Kanye, kill it. And everyone hates on Kanye. He's a little crazy right now, but that's kind of what makes him. Geniuses are crazy. Yeah, you know? it's true. It's true. Should what? just stay, stay away from Trump, though. Yeah, he should. <laughs> that's, he, that's I think he not... talked about how he's like, I'm not doing yeah, that anymore. It's not good for him. <laughs> but um, what, what was your thought when, like, Kanye got into that little spat with Nike and, uh, and then all of a sudden left? Or then Adidas tweeted him. Right. Um, for me, I personally think like be with someone who supports you is like what, like supports your creative vision, yeah. right? So like Adidas was like a good outlet for Kanye to be like, fuck you, Nike. Like I'm yeah. going with Adidas and like he, he grew Adidas into what it is today. Yeah. Like Nike's I stopped. remember like I four mean, years ago, kids wouldn't fuck with Adidas. No. Like kid- Europeans only. Right, right? exactly. And, and like even kids these days who wear Yeezys or Ultra Boost, they don't have a fucking clue what like shell toes are yeah, or what, so what Stan Smiths are. They're like, what the fuck are those? Like they're, yeah. they're like classic Adidas. Like that's uh, what uh, made Adidas. Uh, old school OG, like a real sneakerhead in my book would still have those in my collection, yeah. right? Like in, yeah. in their collection. I have like a ton Dude, of like shell toes. My... So when I'm, I remember I bought, my parents bought me a Stan right. Smiths. I was a like, grade six. Right. So happy. Yeah. Like, white, you know, fresh, clean. And, and I had, I, I don't know if you did this too, uh, what are they called? The whitening sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they would just I get ruined all the yeah, time. Yeah. I used to paint them white and be like, yo, they look fly again. <laughs> that was my, my Stan Smith like yeah. memory of like, I remember getting a pair of those. Yeah, man. Like for Kanye, it's like, like be with who supports you. Right? Yeah, like, like And that. Adidas like supported him. Yeah. Like, supported him. Like it, it, they still like, you know, they still haven't like kicked him out, obviously, because like yeah. all that Kanye do would like go away, right? Yeah, I think it, uh, I know Adidas, First time ever in life, right. went over Nike's in Nike stock, which was right. which was crazy. I, I personally think, just from a observation right. of culture, mm-hmm. once Kanye left Nike, went to Adidas, it changed the game. Mm-hmm. Like it, it leveled the playing field of like, yo. And then it all of a sudden Puma's back. Puma signed Rihanna, and like Puma, yeah, he Puma really because I don't know if you followed all this stuff when Kanye mm-hmm. was like. Nike was like, we only give those deals to athletes. Right. <laughs> Kanye was like, I'm a musical athlete. I was dying when he said that shit. It's amazing. Yeah. Only I love he that. could come up with that shit, right? Yeah. And like it's true. Like it's it's yeah. not just athletes that move the game. Like not anymore, no. right? Like and and that's part of the reason why I built this podcast. Because right. not only athletes, not only rappers, right. it's entrepreneurs that right. are like you, you should look at like K Swiss's marketing strategy. Do yeah. you know anything about K Swiss? Uh yeah. I remember having a pair. I also whitened those too. So, so they are like they're positioning their brand. And as the entrepreneurs. Oh, show. yes, you're right. With Gary Vee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's the case. The guys were just in here like half an hour ago oh, before you shit. came. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. We should have came yeah. and videotaped that. that so they dope. did like a quick vlog with us. Um, oh, nice. Like a five, ten minute vlog yeah. with us. And, uh, yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah, so like. I didn't know that, though, that they're positioning themselves yeah. as the entrepreneur. That's definitely a little weird, but yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and it works like with Gary Vee behind it. Yeah, like Gary he Vee's moves a fucking units, beast, right? right? Like people buy the shoe for the, the idea. Like of... I'll, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm interrupting. Right, right. But Kanye, to me, whatever he does now, whatever he does. But when I was in high school mm-hmm. and listening to Kanye and like Spaceship and all these tracks. College tra- dropout. Con- like, that's what actually made me believe in myself right oddly enough yeah so that's why that's part of the reason why i'll buy his shoe I'm right. like look man this guy helped me get to where i am even mm. though i'm not boys with him or anything like that right so i, I can understand now with gary v he yeah. helps a lot of fucking people yeah. like get over the mental hump of yeah of whatever they were trying to do it's, yeah like whenever like i'm in like a fucking you know in a dark place i listen to gary v like yeah i have him like 
on, on the back, like even yeah. when I'm working, like it's like he's, he's amazing. He's yeah, such he's a great guy. Yeah. Right? yeah, I, I was at it. Uh, I got. Crazy enough, that's how Andrew and I met. I got him into uh, an event like Hasten Hustle. So I, oh, really? I had a, an association with them. Hasten Hustle, you must be knowing Laura then. Sorry? Laura. Uh, I don't know. She works with them. so it's I was. Probably. I just started walking. Oh, and then, really? And then one of the guys invited me to buy a VIP ticket to get some youth in. And I was right, like, right, I'll right. just buy a ticket. I'm not going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, then they called me back. So they need help with getting getting students in. Right. Now they have to, and I was like, okay, yeah. I'll get people in. Yeah. So I got almost like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 oh, nice. students in. A bunch of them I got to meet and then some of them got to meet Gary Vee too. So I was nice. cool. But I met Gary Vee years ago. He was still popular, but nothing right. like where he is like now. Yeah. And that was cool at a VIP dinner. He's the one that actually kind of set me straight where he's like, dude, stop buying dumb shit. <laughs> and he's like, you know, he goes, that's the difference between you and me when I was your age. Right. I didn't buy dumb shit. Right. He's like, he's like, stop buying dumb shit. And I was like, and it obviously didn't turn off like that. Right. Right. It, it, it just like, it's it slowly does, coming right? up. Right. Cause yeah. if I, if, if I didn't have that conversation with someone I respected, yeah. Yeah. I would probably buy, I would have probably bought yeah. resale. I think I've, stuff. I've like slowed down as well since I opened like a sneaker business. Cause before I was buying, I was buying everything, bro. Like vans, like Converse, yeah. like anything, like any colorway that I didn't have, I yeah. bought it. And especially like some stores, like you find it like on sale for like, like what, 40, 50 yeah. bucks, right? Like it's so much easier to like buy. Than, yeah, especially like, if you're in a position. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, like now I only, I think I buy like what I really like, although consistently I have been buying everything from the last Yeezy drops. Yeah, me too. We're in the uh, same boat, except for I don't, I'm not surrounded by it consistently. Like this is beautiful. <laughs> no, but like the more you see it, you kind of like the addiction kind of goes away because that makes like, sense. Like, you know, like, like for me, especially, I think it was more of like the addiction was like actually purchasing it. But like for Sneaker Tab and for the store, I get to purchase it using uh, the company money, but for someone else, not uh, for me, right? Like, oh, so that, you still get the high. I still get the high. Shit, that makes sense, yeah. man. So, so it, that's yeah. helped me like slow down. Yeah, yeah. So that's why like I, I can relate to that where the sneakers. Right. When I buy them, I feel good. Like you were saying before, yeah. like you, you buy something that no one can get, blah, blah, blah. So my cousin in New York used to hook us up. That was fucking right. make me feel good. And I would get stuff on eBay. But now as I've kind of gone down the road a lot, yeah. the high doesn't last very long, right? So that's right. why it brings you full circle to the yeah. podcast where I'm like, look, man, I like hearing the stories yeah. of the come up, you know? So now you're, you've been here for like almost, what, June, July, uh, yeah. five months. Five, yeah, almost five months. Five months, yeah, six yeah. months. And are people coming in, or is yeah, just we like have, we have foot traffic, like better than I thought it would. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. But you're still like dependent on online, which is fantastic. I think that's a we cool... do like store moves units. Yeah. So uh, a lot of the neighbors, like the neighborhood kids, neighborhood, um, I, yeah. I guess, young adults or youth, yeah. they come into the store and they purchase shit because not because they want stuff, but because they want to support their yeah, that's new totally neighborhood right. store, right? Like, I, so. I think the way you did it is the best way to do it nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like everyone thinks you need a store. Yeah. Like, no, you need online attention. You do, yeah, you do need a store to, because we're direct with all the brands we work with. So okay. you got to keep the brands happy. So they um, want certain brands brand. want uh, yeah, a brick I've and mortar this. store to be yeah, because they in want their minds, most of the time, like people who are in like powerful positions in companies, no offense to all people, yeah, they're but fucking they're old. But they're like fucking old, right? <laughs> yeah. They're dinosaurs, right? They think so, people still want to pull up and look at shoes when they're like, no, I just Instagram exactly. fucking 30 pairs of shoes. Exactly. So sometimes when like the sales rep actually wants to give us an account, like especially like I'm not naming any brands, but yeah. some of the brands that we don't have, yeah. their boss who's like a 60 year old uh, white guy would say, oh no, these they fucking don't have guys. a store. Exactly. Or like, oh, they have a store, but they, they wouldn't even like come in here to like check out the vibe, right? Uh, They'd be like, oh, they're not like a fucking footlocker. Foot yeah. So they're not like gonna move any unit. So like our $50,000 buy a year is probably nothing to them. Yeah. But like the sad part is those brands grew oh, the, from like Indies, yeah. right? Fuck, that's so <laughs> weird. Times are gonna change for them once they're out of their seats. Yeah, like I mean, like we're pretty happy with the brands that we work with and yeah. they support us, we support them whenever we can. So we have like a great relationship with brands like Puma, New Balance, Saucony, yeah. K-Swiss, like Ewing, cool. um, like on the clothing side, like Alpha, Quality, which is like a brand from Canada, from Montreal. Okay. Uh, Vitaly, which is a Toronto brand. Yeah, I've um, seen that brand everywhere online. Yeah. 
So they're popping, man. So we're, we're pretty happy with where we are. Awesome, man. Uh, with the brands. And so tell me about how you curate the shoes. It's it takes it, it takes a bit of you there's know an trial and error. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Do um, people like? I don't want to encourage anyone to be like, yo, I don't like these shoes. No, no, no. But it's like, what's some, your some, policy with that? We we do we do returns if people you want to keep people happy. Yeah, we do unless it's like a ridiculous request. Yeah. Like oh, uh, we we try to we try to like you know uh, accommodate their requests. I'd yeah. say, um, but it's like people signing up for a mystery subscription they know what they're kind of getting into yeah. um that's so crazy I'm because also, our audience oh, is not man. also like a hype beast audience right they're like people who are they actually want to get be. into sneaker collecting yeah. or who kind of don't know what's cool or kind of don't oh. know how to put together an outfit right like sneaker shop launched this new package called the dope fit which is like a head to toe package where it's like 200 bucks like you get a you get like a good alpha industries jacket which costs 200 bucks to buy yeah. itself oh, shit. Yeah. a pair of shoes like a jacket wait, or a hoodie so you're given an outfit for 200 bucks yep. where the jacket itself costs 200 bucks yeah that's fucking bomb <laughs> and these people don't know to no offense they don't have their own flavor style yeah so. yeah some guys don't know how to dress like i mean like it's yeah it, like most guys don't know how to dress right yeah. and like no offense to them yeah, obviously yeah. like i have but they just want. because <laughs> yeah. because that's a thing right and they think that the brand uh, anyway I'm going down a, i don't want to hate on anyone <laughs> <laughs> no i mean man like if you put a, put a put a nice a nice outfit together like it doesn't have to be like all branded you can yeah. fucking go to um, yeah and then you can swap like, yeah like yeah. you, you can go like shopping at Walmart and Fuck put a nice yeah. outfit. That's why I tell people right? all the time, man. Like you just and you gotta own it, right? Yeah. And it's it's all about confidence, right? Yeah, it's how we wear it. So yeah, that's dope, man. So you you're doing the sneakers and then the whole outfit. What did you what is it called? Uh, sneaker top dope fit. Sneaker dope top dope fit. fit. Yeah, sick, man. I love the idea. Yeah. Because there's also gonna be people that are just lazy. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, they don't want to go to the mall, yeah. right? Like, and I don't want to think like, yo, yeah. send me something fly. Like, yeah. that's actually. The, now that I put it together, there's that's like having a stylist like as a as an artist or like a celebrity. Yeah, most of these people don't dress themselves. Mm. They have stylists that. That's why I never understood that song, that new song. No with stylist. Yeah, and I'm like, does that mean they don't have stylists or the French probably? He yeah, has a style. I, I guarantee he does. That's why I was confused. He prob- at least ha- he, they probably have people like choose, recommending yeah, exactly. stuff for them. Choose right? the from here. He has like fifty jackets, pick two. Yeah, oh, exactly. Right? That's exactly it. But I never understood that track. No. But um, good song though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the sneak disc, the Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that like, yeah, that was a weird fucking. Was check silver stripes in that? Or? No, that's no. in sickle mode. That's in sickle mode. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the. I said, "Don't wear no 350s yeah. around me." I was like, Ugh. "He all, he wore like those. Uh, can't remember what shoes they were. I, I think uh, um, the the blush. The, the, no, um, he wore like a, a De- like a regular Adidas shoe, like oh, a two to to like a courtside game. Oh, and then everyone thought he was signing with Adidas. Yeah. I remember all these like weird rumors. I was I'm like, sure he was gonna sign with I Adidas. Yeah. I think so too because he has no creativity in the Jordans. Right, like, the Jordans like the, the OVO Jordans. They're Jordans yeah. with just an OVO logo yeah. on it. They're, yeah. They are where they are. Drake has all the fucking clout in the world yeah. right now, but like I'm sure he wants to put his own creativity in yeah. that shit, right? So, and Nike's not about that. Not <laughs> so, about that life. <laughs> yeah. But so, what are you most excited about? Like, what's coming up now? Like Black Friday? Do you have like some drop coming up? No, we don't do like the whole traditional do good, fucking, Fuck that shit. you know, like 50% off the whole store thing. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, it works for some businesses, but yeah, like, you don't for, need it. No, I don't. We don't do that because I personally, the brands that we work with, we don't want to devalue the product. Right. Cool. Um, yeah. Because a lot of the times, like what I've seen, my personal shopping experience before I became like a sneaker entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, like a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I Come like up. that. Serial <laughs> entrepreneur. Um, Holy smokes. Uh, my, we'll, we'll get some footage of that. No, one, we can't see what this giant ass <laughs> tub of, of, of ice cream, of cereal. And I still am so fascinated by it. Yeah. Like when I was buying off retail, I never bought anything full price because there was always something on awesome. sale. Yeah, and yeah. like that hurts the brand. Yeah. A lot of these brands don't understand it. They sell in bulk to like big chain stores and be like, yeah. oh, here's like 70% off, like wholesale, go yeah. fucking do your thing. But it like hurts the brand on the long run, right? Yeah. So I personally don't want, I don't take, take, we don't take anything more than 10% off of anything. Oh, good for you. Yeah. I like that. You, you know your value, right? Yeah. Your, your real, your bread and butter is the subscription, I'm assuming, mm. right? That's awesome. 
Because people don't realize like that is, people think that, you know, what you see in a, a storefront is actually your bread and butter. Just mm. like people think that the real estate stuff is right. not, like, something, but really the on, everything comes online. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it ties nicely, like the, the yeah. store and the subscription ties nicely into this like big, nice cycle where like stuff that you know, come into the store after like a month, it goes into the subscription. Yeah. So we have like a nice system going because of the two businesses. So yeah, I mean, it, it works in our favor. Cool. Now, I keep looking at those. How are those, man? Are they this, like the, the zebras? They are a little tighter than usual. Oh, okay. So I usually wear a 10 or nine and a half. Uh, yeah. So these are 10s and they're a little tight around. The Did you just get those? Because they just really... Yeah, yeah, I just got fucker. those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop. We need to text her and like, don't buy that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, they're pretty good, man. Like I like the, I, I like the way it looks. Like I like, yeah, obviously they're, they're comfortable, more comfortable than other shoes, though they're a yeah. little tighter. Uh, but it's 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 a hit and miss with all the easy drops because sometimes they fit bigger sometimes. Yeah, that's what I've heard because I've, I've got a couple pairs of the, what are those three fifties, right? Yeah, three fifty. Yeah. And then um, yeah, so I have the original ones and then the black with the red stripe. Right, then, like the OGs. Yeah, I don't know if they're OGs. Yeah, they're like the older. Like, yeah, V ones. The, the V ones, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are they V? I don't know. Shit's uh, confusing yeah. though. There's so much happening. I only have V twos because I got into like easies pretty late. But, yeah, so did I. When yeah. people start showing me like. The Red October's for four thousand. Like I, I, I didn't like them until I started wearing them because they're like super comfortable. Yeah, like I like the way fun. they looked. I always liked how they looked, but I'm like actually I'm not well dropping three hundred bucks on. Them. Especially yeah. when I first started my business, I'm like that money could go elsewhere, right? Absolutely, to a giant box of cereal. Yeah.